some material can change the pro polarization properties of the light, which may be a color-dependent effect, as you will see in these um, birefringence experiments. So here we have two pieces of glass. They look very similar on a first appearance, but one is a very high-quality glass and the other one is not quite so high-quality. So what I'm going to do now, there's a polarization filter below that glass and it's illuminated and I put another perpendicular filter so that I have cross-polarization filters on top. So now with the camera we can see through both of, fil of these filters and you can nicely see that there's a huge difference in what these two glasses show. So this glass here has is changing the polarization, whereas this one preserves the polarization as it was. And you see that um, it has a lot of sort of stress-induced birefringence, which changes the polarization properties, and it's also color-dependent, as you see by this sort of uh, fringe-like appearance here. So now I'm going to put different materials between these cross-polarizers, and you can observe different effects with them. So the first thing I'm going to put down here is a model of a bone. And you see here that these are actually two pieces of perspex. And when I now increase the stress on the material, you can nicely see how the polarization uh, gets distorted more when I put stress on the material. And this can be also used to find out where exactly the most stress is in a material. So in this example of a, a bone, uh, two bones basically met, uh, touching each other. And here I have an ordinary piece of, um, well, a lid from a maybe yogurt or something like this, and you see that this plastic that they use, because it is drawn in the process, um, also has a lot of these, these birefringent because these are very long chain molecules that are drawn and therefore oriented in a certain way and then you get birefringent here. The same is true for these um, mathematical triangle to measure angles, uh, so we call it Geodreieck in Germany, and you can also get this very nicely for Tessa tape. So if you use Tessa tape, and for example, here is a piece of tether tape or different pieces of te tether tape on top of each other. And they are uh, just put on a piece of glass. And you can see that depending on how I orient it, you can see quite nice colors because you get constructive or destructive sort of, uh, well, you, you get angles under which a particular color uh, changes the polarization by integer um, of, 180 degrees basically and that's why you can then see these colors bright and others dark. That depends of course on how I orient it. So here the, the birefringence axis is oriented with the drawing direction and here you have other nice, nicely made things. So you see different nice colors depending on where we put it. Right, finally, you can also just use normal, um, very, very bright foils and films, like this one, shows nice patterns, colors. Have I forgotten? Was, war, 